What up everybody? I know you guys like to watch my unboxing videos when I get my box of t-shirts in the mail, but today I have a whole palette, a whole palette to sort. Who knows what's in there? So I'm gonna do an unboxing of a whole freaking palette. That is 12 full boxes. So I'm gonna go through it, gonna see what I like, and I'm gonna show you some of the cool shit. So here we go. Last night while I was sorting the palette, I was doing it like after everybody had gone home. Um, been working late lately and I just didn't want to finish it. So today's another day. I finished it today. I pulled out some of my favorite pieces from the palette and I'm going to show you. Here we go. You know, if you want to feel smart without being smart, you wear a Yale sweater. Super dope one. Might have to rock it just to feel a little smarter. And the Hanes tag. Super dope. Got this Starter Suns Windbreaker lightweight jacket. Real clean. By the way, all this stuff is for sale. Um, everything's for sale. So hit me up if you want anything. You can DM me on Instagram, it'll be right there and you can cop any of this stuff. NASCAR racing jacket with Daffy Duck. Sense Daffy Duck. This one's pretty rad. Not sure I've seen it before. It's 3X, but fits probably like a, an X. Okay. Who remembers Triple Fat Goose? I had one of these when I was a kid. These are like, these crazy good 90s puffers. And this one has like, this one has the Crayola colorway. Check out the tag. This one has the Crayola, Crayola colorway kind of polo vibes. The zipper work, let's see. Oh, the zipper is giving me drama. Oh no, it's working. Oh, she's working. Oh yeah, chin strap and everything. Triple fat goose. These things are rad. Printed liner, XL. And it even has like the Polo Crest vibes. They definitely copied this off a of Polo aesthetic. Um, got this North Face brown label vest. This thing's actually sick. Men's, large. Look at that, fits like a glove. I thought this was cool, this isn't very old, but this is a polo, Ralph Lauren. It's a fleece, it's a polar fleece uh, button up shirt. Polo really is king of making things out of ulterior fabrics. This is almost a jacket. You can wear this as a jacket for sure. Um, classic US Army. Desert pattern Gore-Tex jacket. These Gore-Texes are some of the better military items you can get. More, kind of really wearable, functional. Usually you get them in woodland pattern, but the desert is a nice change. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Grumpy crew neck. Big print. The big print. This is on a uh, Snow White Seven Dwarfs tag. I think it's an XL. It says triple XL. 
But that's like a modern XL or double XL. No way it's triple XL. Yeah, everything's for sale. Yeah. We got a uh, Cleveland Browns bootleg Bart on Screen Stars Best tag. I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. I'm proud of it, man. XL Screen Stars Best made in USA. Yeah, this is pretty dope. One of the only true vintage pieces I got in that load. This is a dead stock Lee denim chore jacket. Very, very dope. Lee though is probably some of the more common uh, stuff you find for, for real vintage denim, but um, still has some value. You can see it tells deadly, this is a paper tag. If it's been washed, that would have been washed out. You can just tell it's crispy, crispy, crispy. Triple stitch, triple stitch. Just crispy. Size 42, really good size. Okay, shearling lined Levi's jacket. But check this out. You see those stripes, the two-tone denim stripes in the middle? That is a weird anomaly. Now, it looks to me like that's original, which makes this extra weird because that's like a just a funky variation of this jacket that I've never seen before. And as a vintage dealer, that's the kind of stuff that gets me psyched up. Random, random variations on things. Uh, okay. Hummer Sportswear. Chicago Bulls pullover. Cotton twill pullover. Uh, probably XL. Kind of random, off-brand. Shout out to Andy Bernard from The Office. Cornell, again, you know, if you want to feel smart, if you want to be all Ivy League with it, then you get the Cornell sweat on the champion. It's the 90s champion tag, late 90s. Another dope one, I'm gonna have to rock it. I got the Yale, I got Cornell. I can get a Dartmouth one, and I'll, I'll just be all Ivy'd up. Uh, Nike 90s tonal swoosh crew neck, size large. This one's pretty rad. 80s Benetton Big B kind of varsity sweater. Benetton, oops, sorry for kicking it. Benetton made some rad stuff in the 80s. This is just a really cool knit sweater. I'm a sucker for the color blocking. I'm not a big Tommy fan, but check it out. Big color block vibes. Tommy button down. I thought this was dope. Hanes beefy, size large. Uh, skydiving graphic, but it's like a really cool 80s skydiving graphic. Just thought that was cool. That's what I'm doing. I'm showing you what I like, what's cool. What I think is cool. Um, Silver tag Nike XL with the sewn on patch spell out two tone sweatshirt. This is an XL. Okay, another interesting one. I'd like to show you guys the interesting ones. This is called the starter double hood. Okay, big starter spell out purple, teal, and black. Check this out. This has two hoods. This is like when skaters in the late 90s, early 2000s would put double tongues in their shoes. You remember that? Shout out to the double tongue posse. If you ever did that, comment down below. This is the double hood. You can like rock a hood and have a hood going back. You can rock two hoods, although your head's gonna get hot. They even, ha they even put this, is this, this came like this stock from the factory. These tassels, like your beaded, beaded braids or something on your hair, super random. But uh, popular style, side pockets. Sick uh, starter squared tags, size large. Hornets colorways, okay, on the double hoodie. Um, yeah, learn something every day. I knew that existed already, but maybe you learned something. I'm gonna show you one more thing. I have Nike center swoosh on that good, good, tag that good 90s tag gray nike center swoosh xl 
hit me up in the DMs if you want to cop that. And then this is a this is a large early 2000s Nike. Small swoosh, but just nicely distressed, like really good distressing on that one. I think that's it, guys. That is it. Let me give you a quick once around the warehouse. I cleaned it up, it's looking good. As always, you can buy wholesale vintage hats, blanks to make uh, embroider, put your logo on, whatever you want. Um, you know, hit me up for wholesale if you wanna do a wholesale appointment. I still have a big stack of true vintage stuff that I can sell wholesale. Just hit me up, we do uh, FaceTime appointments. This is all stuff on the website, all stuff on eBay. I'll put the eBay link to our eBay in the link of this video, go check that out. Here's a few t-shirts that I um, have gotten lately, just a little stack there. Need to go through those. And yeah, have a beautiful day. Thank you for tuning in. Like this video guys, please and share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Follow the channel. Talk to you later.